Let's do another Oxford math admission test question. And this is the one from the year of 2020. And they have a lot of great selections of calculus and also pre-calculus type of questions. So go ahead and check that out. Here's the question. We are going to find the largest value of this function. So of course, let's go ahead and differentiate this and set equal to zero. No, don't do that. Because this right here can actually be rewritten as a quadratic in terms of sine x. So you can avoid doing calculus for this. So let me show you guys how we can do that. Here we have cosine square. We can replace that by 1 minus sine square x. And of course we have the rest. Seriously, if you do this, you don't have to do derivative. But if you want to do derivative, I cannot stop you and let me know how that goes. But anyway, let's clean things up. I will put this times that first, which is negative 3 sine square x. And next, we will have this 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So I'll just put on plus 2 sine x and then plus 4. And you see we have a quadratic in terms of sine x. That's very nice because we can actually just complete the square so that we can find the, uh, the vertex. Can we use the vertex formula here though? Mm, you could. You can find the vertex, use the vertex formula, negative b over 2a, and um, plug in and then work that out. Maybe let's do that, or complete the square up to you. Vertex formula. So anyway, a is negative 3, b is 2, and c doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> the vertex of this not really like a vertex because that's the vertex for parabola. Here you have infinitely many of them, so let's just put down like a quotation mark. It's at, well, this is a quadratic in terms of sine, so we will have to say sine x equals negative b, which is negative 2, over 2 times a, which is negative 3. And that's what we have, so that's going to be cancel positive, so we have one third. Cool. So that's the vertex happens at whenever sine x is equal to one third. And can sine x equal to one third? Yes, and that's crucial. Because if we are saying sine x is equal to two, and that's when the complex world, you know, that's not doable. So this is okay. All right, and then what we'll do is just plug in one third into here and here, and then find out the maximum value. Here we go. The maximum value, it's going to be, here we have the negative three times one third for the sine value, and then we want to square that, and then we add two times sine x, which is one third, and then we add the four. And just work that out. So here we have cancel, it's going to be negative one over three plus two over three plus 12 over three. So altogether we have 13 over three, done. Alright? Done. Huh? You want me to complete the square? Okay, okay, I will do that. I will do that. No problem, okay? So, if we want to complete the square, we have a coefficient negative 3 here, right? We don't like that. Let's just factor that out. So, I'm going to factor out the negative 3 from here and here. So, we have negative 3, and then parentheses, and we have sine square x, and then we, we factor out negative 3. So we divide this by negative 3. So we have minus 2 over 3 sine x. Leave some space for the magic number. Close parentheses, and then we add a 4 on the outside. What's the magic number? Because we have a 1 right here already, so we take this, right? Put half of that, so we get, let's see, 1 half of negative 2 over 3. And then square that. That's going to be negative 1, 3, and the square that which is 1 over 9. So I'm going to add 1 over 9 inside, but of course we have to minus that right away. And you see this part will be a perfect square, and that's perfect. So here we have negative 3. Altogether, this is going to be sine x, and then minus 1 third square. All right, you can multiply the out, you'll get that. Cool. And we will have to Multiply this and that. So negative 3 times negative 1 over 9 is going to be 
plus 1 over 3, and then we have the plus 4 on our side. So as you can see, we can write this as negative 3 times sine x minus 1 over 3 squared, and this and that, it's that answer, plus 1, I mean, one is 13 over 3. And now, have a look. This right here is achievable. Sine x can be equal to 1, so we talked about that earlier. So this is the nice quadratic form. And you have a parabola that opens downward because this is negative 3, right? The coefficient is negative, so this is going to be the maximum. So that's the maximum. And uh, we are done. Of course, same answer. So let me know which way you guys like better. Definitely don't ask me to do the derivative. And um, this is what calculus students tend to do when they learn about calculus derivatives. Whenever they see to find the biggest values or smallest value, they will just differentiate, differentiate, differentiate. Life doesn't have to be that hard. You don't have to differentiate yourself from everybody else. That's it.